All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of GTA 5. I hope everybody's having a great night tonight. So last episode we were introduced to Trevor, um, did all of his missions up top. It was it was it was a great time. Uh Trevor's quite a savage, quite a savage. It was a shame what happened to Johnny. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome back. We're gonna continue. We just got with Trevor down to Los Santos and um we're gonna be obviously trying to find Michael and and, and do all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys remember if you guys are enjoying this series and you want to see more, hey, just smash that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and uh, let's get her done. Let's get her done. So I'm I think I just gained access. Yeah. So now we have access to all three characters again. Um, now the one thing I was like, man, is this area considered a safe house for Trevor? Okay, I think it is. So I was like, yo, maybe I'll head back up north and grab Trevor's car. Or, uh... But then I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that up top for when we go back up there with Trevor. Hmm. So I, I got that sick. I got a black car. Uh, really, really, really nice car. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll bring it down here. But I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it up up north. All right, so let's uh, let me see what what do we got going on here. So I believe what rampage. Yep, oh, we got Michael's mission. Ooh, so we know where Michael lives. Uh, before we do that, let's see. Does Franklin have anything? And did Franklin get his money yet? No, still don't have our damn money. Okay. Yeah. Lester's taking his sweet ass time with them jewels, isn't he, chat? We're still broke. Oh. Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you. And now we're rich. Just like that, chat. Boom. <laughs> uh, we just got 260 three we're, okay um so i know we can buy some businesses let me uh let's check the map because i want to be smart with our money uh let me see what is around here that franklin can buy we got what is this this is the smoke on the water it's a smoke shop Two hundred thousand for the smoke shop Uh, that's a marina, um, helipad. This is the Grove Street Garage. So this will give us the ability to hold more vehicles. This is the car scrapyard, two seventy five. Well, can I cycle through them like this? Okay, I can. So first we have downtown Cabco. We can get our. Uh, we can. Get <laughs> We can get a GTA 4 cab company ownership going, chat. Um, so they got a hangar here, 150000 I need to know which one. Oh, so Los Santos Customs. I want to know which ones generate income. $10 million. Ooh. $20 million. $30 million. Hundred and fifty million for the damn goal. That's crazy. Oh, none of them generate income. Uh, car scrapyard, pictures, the hen house. So I can't afford this. Um, I, I can afford either a the uh, smoke shop or the the cab company too. I can afford the cab cab company is only two hundred grand. But I'm wondering, are like, are these good business investments? Like, am I or am I? Not, is it going to take forever? You know, I'm going to go and collect a hundred dollars every day from this damn business, or am I going to? Am I going to actually make some money? You know what I mean? Alien Zombie with the 20 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're about to get our Roman on right now. Uh, 
All right, so we'll, we'll invest in stocks. Yeah, all right, so we'll hold on to our money right now. I don't, I don't want to go drop all of my cash right now trying to buy a uh, trying to buy a business. We'll we'll just hold off for right now. But I will go bring the car, um, and we'll throw some upgrades in it. So let me see. There we go. I was like, dude, I know there was one close by. So I actually like this car quite a bit. Um, I was going to buy Franklin a new car, but we'll hold off on that right now. I, I'm... I got money. I don't want to splurge too out of control. Maybe we'll buy a new car for Michael because Michael's going to have the big payout. Franklin kind of just got a little piece. Hmm. Yeah, I know you guys said that there's some missions with Lester that allowed me to trade on the stock market and stuff like that. Is there is there things you could do in the stock market outside? Like I don't, I, I'd obviously have to like study the stock market to truly know what like moves are good. But simple things that I wanted to do to this car, we couldn't we couldn't do just because I didn't have any money. Uh, was my do I usually have my camera on the other side chat? I, I don't remember. I don't remember how I have it set up on GTA. What miracle did you want me to perform? Well, we're gonna be able to. Uh, okay, so let's repair the vehicle. Okay, so we get the EMS level 3. Let's do that. Hmm. Do the black. Get the new headlights that we wanted. Oh, yeah, look at them. They look nice. All you need to do is invest like Lester tells you to invest before assassinations. Got you, Andy. Thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Spend it all, man. We're, we're, we're trying to be we're trying to be nice right now, Cash. We're not trying to blow too much. I don't like any of those front ends, honestly. I mean, this one's okay. Throw that on there for right now. I feel like it's like we're like need for speed chat. I wonder how um I don't know if we should put a spoiler on here. Maybe just like a little, a little one.
But I can't get that one. Something small in there like that. That ain't gotta be anything crazy. Get the lowered, we can get the street or the sport. Let's get that. Splurge, we'll get the race transmission, the turbo. Alright, this is where we need to. I'm going to be doing like a, um... We're going to be doing a black on black, so like whatever rims I get, they're going to be black. Those are, those are pretty clean. None of them are really jumping out at me like those ones are decent. Those are decent. So hard, chat. It's so hard. Might just get the ones that kind of look like the stock rims. I believe they're here in SUV. SUV. I feel like this will look pretty cool when they're when they're black. Oh, they kind of look off, like they're not even, and it bothers me. They're not like symmetrical. It's so weird <laughs> that that bothers me. Yeah, I'll get these ones. They kind of are like the uh, stock ones, but I'll be able to paint them a different color. No, now I feel like there's not enough rim. Like, I bought those rims. I don't like them. I don't like them black. It, it just looks like there's not enough rim there. Oh, now I can see them all black. Awesome. Hell yes. Dude, those look sick. Okay, so it was the sacrificial rim to, to get the blacks. So, see, yeah, now I can see them all black. I like it. It's pretty nice. Those are nice. I get these deep dishes, but I don't know. They look kind of weird. There we go. Yeah, I'll get those. That's, that's good enough for now. All right. Windows. We'll get our pin, and we'll roll with this for right now. There it is, chat. We spent quite a bit of money on the car, but it, it looks nice. I would drive the shit out of this in real life. 
<laughs> Only if I had a car that was even a quarter of as cool as this. First of all, I don't even have a car. I got a, I got a, I own a Traverse, which is the step up from a minivan. Yeah, now it's definitely, it's definitely ready for a street race, 100%. All right, so let's swap over to, uh, the Trevor and let's get this st Michael stuff situated. Oh, shit. How are you doing that, dude? He's like Chris Angel. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, Trevor, you ready, dude? We're about to go confront Michael. Hey, hey, hey! Hola! It's a nice car right there. Like, honestly, I feel like if Trevor saw a car like that in real life, like, he would just, like, this is what he would do. Yeah, it felt, it felt like a Trevor thing to do, you know? Am I right? All right, here. Oh, man, here we go. I have no clue how this meetup like went. I don't remember this at all, like from my first playthrough. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. <laughs> it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner, but yeah, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh, good. <laughs> Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. 
What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Mays Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Sue, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. With. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy tea. Don't tea me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? Woo. It's too late for kale. And it's magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed, and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great. This has got to be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Here we go. Guys, Trevor isn't that bad. It's showtime, kids. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. I have. I, I tried it. No, that was Trevor chat. It was all Trevor. The Like I gotta, I gotta embrace my inner Trevor, we go. and I, I guess my inner Trevor is too much there. Trevor. Production vehicles only. All right, this this time I'll be fine. Your call. There, there we go. See, yeah, that was more Trevor. I, I, I forgot, you, you can't always just resor resort to the gun. Come on, you <laughs> dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? See, I was not off. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was really 
All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Throw her hair. Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night. You wouldn't make love to oh. Go home. Uh. Damn it. I was trying to act. Why, why did my thing stop working? That's weird. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. Damn it! That recap, what happened? Quick. Okay, maybe. Tracy, go home! Today. Hey, where are you running off to? Damn it. Is there a way for me to read? I, I don't want to miss that. I was just trying to nerf the music. Or was that music not even freaking copyright? Here, let me see. Let me uh, go game. Replay mission. No. Watch, we're going to get slayed by the auto. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the autosave. I'm just going to go to the main menu. Eighteen, eighteen. Oh, it did mute for you guys? Got you. Yeah, my little icon didn't pop up. I have like a little mute icon and it just didn't fucking pop up. We'll just restart it, chat. I don't want to miss that cutscene because that shit looked like it was going to be hilarious. <clears throat> Alright, we're, we're good. All right, we're in business. Hopefully it doesn't, like, start us at that same point of the mission, you know what I mean? I'd rather start the whole mission over again than have them start me, like, at that. But I got a feeling they're going to start me at that damn point. Awesome. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If a drink's put down for 10 seconds, it's free game, bud. There it is. Did it save all the car upgrades? I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. Damn, that's a nice car over there. You see that black car right there, Chad? That shit is so clean. Open your 
switch to Michael. But I like playing as Trevor. Trevor allows me to do things that I can't I I can't do with Michael. Go to the army base? I don't I don't even know where the army base an army base is. That was close. Cause like once I started the mission, it was like whoever I started the mission as, I was stuck as Trevor. Like I couldn't, I couldn't switch off of Trevor. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to play the mission as Michael. Cause then like, I'm not allowed. I can't. I can't play like Trevor. You know. Oh, Michael has more dialogue for the mission. All right, Chad, I'll do it. No oh, shit, I didn't show any of this. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell <laughs> me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the Cast one. Me, let me know if this mutes. Is it muted? It's situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. It did? Yeah. Okay. One of those... Fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. See, but it didn't even seem like Michael had that much money. It was only 200 grand on that, on that last heist. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner, but I uh, can't blame you. Who are you? I don't know. I just Mustang. love Trevor's I'm, personality. I'm like, he's so <laughs> savage. <laughs> Good lord. Hey. Where's Tracy? He has to be probably my favorite GTA character of all Where's time. Sister, hands Jim? down. Um, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it. You guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. 
Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. I think now I'm just excited for more Trevor moments going forward. All right, Trevor, let's do it. Only, okay, only if I could switch to you, my friend. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Rock, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and they don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you of how you lost Whoops. your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted Damn. to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or it's yoga. Fine. Or talk therapy. Or yoga. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, that's a nice car, oh, too. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shot. Oh, what car is that? Ass. You two chilled out. Oh, uh, stop that cool. Yeah. It looks kind of like the car that, um. You two relaxed and you laid back, Los Santos embarrassment. Tony uh, had in GTA 4 is the you DLC. Bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around. Whoa, dude. You do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great! It's showtime, kids. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. Trevor, wait! See, Ted, that's why I wanted to be Trevor. Look, he's just a, he's a go-getter. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. And guys, thank you for almost 300 Tracy likes already. DeSanta. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original. Why'd she do like her hair like that, though? Puppies are a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, I get to beat Trevor anyways. Get up! We're running that prick down. Oh, so now we get the tractor trailer chat. Okay. As you guys know, I was a pro dr truck driver. How like, actually, did this as a living. Treated like that. Hey, you raise the daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. The test the trailer. This toy car and this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Right, I don't want to detach it. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Asshole. Went left. I ain't in this car. Ah, the little bastard's going up to the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I saw him turn left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. <laughs> Yo, is it not possible to catch him with the trailer on? Right, right, here. Calm it down. Like, do you go faster? Celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! <laughs> uh, Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? <laughs> I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, Please come on, go. get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. 
The world's gonna see your shit! <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Alright. <sighs> that was good stuff, chat. That was good stuff. So now we got Trevor on the phone. We got a mission with Trevor and uh, the B. Take it, that's Davy's mission. I don't remember what guns we had with Michael. And it's not even dramatically crap. Me having a naval tattoo isn't ironic. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you can. On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy that voice acts, Trevor, they, they, he even looks like him. Really? Oh, taxi! What if I should, uh... Where are you going? Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go to, uh, let's go to Michael's house. I want to get changed. Rockford Hills. This is the spot, right? Yeah, Michael's now got $758,000, guys. The guy who pays the bills is here. You know, the fam cares so much about us, chat. All right, so we're going to go ahead, grab a suit again. Mike, Mike, uh, hold on, let me see outfits. You know what, we'll go leather jacket. We'll go leather jacket, and then I want to check out how this works. Because Michael has a bit of spare money. So, can I buy a business as Michael too, or is it only... Or it doesn't matter, right? I don't know, I feel like I should probably buy the shit with Franklin, but I feel like Franklin gets the... I feel like Franklin gets the low end of the freaking, at least for now, the low end of the payouts. All right, let's check the map here. So we got. Yeah, so he can buy. The same ones. The best stuff for Trevor is when you switch to Trevor. Completely random situations. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I, I can't wait to see, dude. Uh, Decor, thank you so much, but I. First of all, I, I really do appreciate the the super chat, man. It means a lot. Um, some of these are way, way expensive. All right. We're going to do this, though. Let's go to the internet. Michael could do better than that. Legendary Motors. Okay, here we go. There's that one car. Damn, that's a hundred forty something thousand. That's pretty expensive. It's 
But the reason why I'm doing this, I kind of want to just see what it's like to buy a car in the game. But yeah, this thing's clean. Oh, oh we could change the color of it too. Let's get the white one. Purchase failed. You have nowhere to store the vehicle. Oh, okay. So what do I got to own a garage? Okay. Whatever. The house will soon be restored to its former condition. I'm pleased you're a man of your word. So Martin Madrazo uh, just hit us up saying he got his money. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a garage. Honestly, the the character starter cars are pretty nice. I had people in the comments that were pointing out, they're like, bro, it's Grand Theft Auto. Why don't you steal cars? And I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like with any game. I like to earn my stuff. You know what I mean? And that's a nice ass car right there. I feel like I, I earned that car just by looking at it. Hey, that was a car I tried to buy. Uh, it, it was pink, Chad. I couldn't. I couldn't take it because it was pink. Same color and everything too. That car that that drove past us. That was the benefactor or whatever. White. Well, now it's to the point that chat wants me to steal the cars so bad that I refuse to steal the cars just to troll chat. I can't, I can't give in. You know, I, I can't give in. Like, yeah, like, you know what? Like, like stuff like this, you know, like immersion stuff like this. I'm a park in this parking spot chat. And I'm a walk over there. Even though I guarantee 90% of the people that play this game probably were like this. <laughs> it's just drive up, up, up to it, right guys? Not me. We're parking, chat. We're civilized, okay? We're civilized gamers. I just ruined the shit out of this grass, and I feel really bad. I can't undo it, chat. I can't undo it. <laughs> Andy with the super chat, brother. I'm so happy you won't give it a chat and steal cars. You're better than... Hey, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. I can't do it. Andy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, that looks actually pretty cool. I want to see this really quick. Can you look through this? Oh, you can. A dollar? I'm so happy you won't give in to chat and steal cars. You're better than that, Brian. You know, but Andy, people's argument to that, the game's name, it's literally in the name of the game. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but hey, Chad, just because it's Grand Theft Auto... Doesn't mean you have to steal cars. It's just what they named the game when it first came out and they just didn't change it, you know? That was back before you could buy cars. See, Caspi, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. 
Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Damn. I have always kind of liked you. Man, I was gonna... Tell me when you wake up, I'll tell you what to do. I wanted to buy some new gun stuff, guys, now that we got money. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. Guy was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. Win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Ah! Oh, Jesus! God! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Got him in his skivvies. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Come on. Give it up! Damn, did I lose all my guns and shit? Okay, so that's actually a new gun. I I didn't have this one before. That don't look right. It was strangled. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. Yeah. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're going to get out. You! Uh. Uh. Fuck you! Uh. Ah. Whoa! 
This is fun. Okay. today. But I want the fuck out. Stop, you. <laughs> We're locked down. You gotta take the stairs. Grub must be in the trash bag on the. Okay, top floor evidence room. Uh, let me see. We got a couple different weapons we could use now. It's this SMG like. Or we can go shoddy too. Shoddy will be nice so I won't have to freaking worry about my missing shots. This building is air Just pop them like that. When you're a scrub like me, chat, when you got scrubby aim, you just <laughs> you gotta take advantage of the shoddies. Heals now. See if they got any healing. Any up oh, there's a heal. All of our stuff is here. Oh, nice and body armor. I got my SMG with the suppressor. Come <laughs> on. 
We're going to spawn it. That's all good. Should have just flipped around, but... He went up the off ramp. Shit, oh, there's another one coming. This one might still spot me. Nope. Who spotted me? Uh, definitely is five definitely doing a lot better than I expected for sure and I appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing this series uh, guys we got almost 400 hey, likes F. hey we need to talk quick meet me at those oil derricks just outside town El Burro Heights and make sure you're not tail man that don't sound too good homie look I'm on my way The hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. I wonder what this meetup's all about. Franklin! Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... I don't hell walking on earth. That's what he is. <laughs> well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. 
Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Damn. Dead man walking. So, Trevor has a mission available. You know I'm about to do that. And he also has a Stranger and Freaks mission here. Now, I gotta get some money with Trevor so I can, uh... So I can buy that airstrip so we can do the drug running. All right, let's swap over to Trevor. We'll see what his quest is and probably even check out that Stranger and Freaks quest. Franklin needs a mink. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can get us some tattoos. I got a drug habit that would put your problem celebrities in the ground. Two of them, chat. Did you lose a very big bet? We had we had two floaters. Hey, Uncle T is dizzy. Jimmy D2, the motherfucking S. So glad you're back. My dad been acting like a wacko, but all angry and shit. Come. <laughs> Okay, let me see. So, get this mission. Wait, where are we currently? Where are we? We're actually not far from this. Let's go check out the Stranger and Freaks mission before we have the main mission. Yeah, I still want to get Trevor's truck upgraded. Oh, Trevor 100% will steal cars. Like, I could steal cars all day playing as Trevor, and it, does, and it feels like the right thing to do. This is my first time. No, no, this is. No, I played GTA 5 when it first came out um, back in like 2013. Uh, haven't played it since, so I don't remember anything from the game because obviously it's been like 10 years. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, like little bits and pieces, you know. Like for some reason, I remember there, like, like one of the characters I think buys a house in this area. Wonderful, a veritable treasure truck. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist. I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, maybe something oh. like this. Or like oh. that, huh? 
You like that? That's enough, Hamdir. Uh, you like that? Oh. Stop. Ooh. Stop. Oh. Please. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. What do they want us to do? Some B and E? So, do the. Um... Things they want us to steal pop up, or is it like little missions that will pop up later on down the road? Head down to the main mission here. Uh, let me see. So I haven't made any money yet. Whoop! Oh, shit. It's Trevor, so I still can't buy the damn... The, um... Airship. Yeah, I'm being a little stingy on Trevor's money. Just because I, I wanted to get the airstrip. So Michael's got most of the missions right now. Might even head back up north to do that. There, it looks like Tra Trevor has another part of a Stranger and Freaks mission up north too we could do. We'll see how this goes though. Uh, areas where you can find have been marked on the map. Steal these items for... Oh, okay, so it's like right here. Oh, we got one of them right here. Let's, let's go check this out really quick. We'll see what these items are. Celebrity items. You know what I need it? Trevor needs a baseball bat, chat. We need we need like a baseball bat for him. He's tooled up, look out! I don't think this was the, the place, chat. This was like a club. Okay, okay. Come the fuck down. Just tell me what you want. We gotta beat up Willie. Willie! Stay right there! Right, Willie! Willie! He's trying to kill me, I'm using the collide cord! Willie! Oh, holy shit! Ah! 
Got it. I had to collect his gold tooth, chat. Did that shit? Shit. Oh. I, I did say fail jump. It did indeed say fail jump. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing. Aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! And Trevor over here punching celebrity teeth out. Teeth out. Oh, this little biker gang there. What needs poor cousin? I want... <laughs> I can't believe we're still staying here. We gotta find... I don't know if Trevor finds a different place. And Trevor is... A, the Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor <laughs> is a good guy. He's like family. Got kid, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Well, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating. There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Oh, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, I work at the docks. <laughs> and? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. But why did Trevor have to do that man's teddy bear like that, chat? Not the teddy bear, chat. 
And it was probably his girl's teddy, too. Come on, then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got a bucket of stick in the mug. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turn. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. I haven't noticed anything. Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Mm. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the Wait. globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Yeah, this doesn't sound like something that we want to get involved in, Trevor. I'm just saying. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, yeah, well do. <laughs> Go park and get to this Come back. on, just about to start. How's it going? Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> get in there. Alright, show me the goods. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? You know those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. They shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. So that is, is this another heist set? What do you think they got on it? No, we just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merryweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You, you, we need two guys on the handler. Couple of containers and baby got to be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it now. You drive and I'll spot. 
How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're going to check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. So we don't run them over? Nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happening when he's neck deep in shit. Uh, be careful. These two right here, I'll take it. Those are the containers in Bay B. And attach it. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. It's like a Calma. I they call them handlers because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Yo, look at Trevor, man. We're over here making... Making big moves, chat. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Yeah, they did a good job fleshing the world out in this one. They're so on to us. Clap it on now. Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the, well, with the, with the, with the say no more. You didn't fillet no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. Oh, is he talking about his girl? If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. All right, so climb the crane to reach the cabin, baby. Too easy. So what, he's just going to leave us over here unsupervised? I do not advise that, man. I'm, I personally would not leave Trevor anywhere unsupervised. Hey, there ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. I was going to punch him in the mouth, but... All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. 
Looks good to me. Grab onto it. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. Take us to the other end. Bay number five. Ooh, easy. We ain't there yet. Too easy, chat. There's the truck. Set it down gentle. You want to line it up with the frame of the truck. Son of a gun. There we go. Containers locked. All that freight. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Get back down to the other end. Got it. over the second container in Bay 1. thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Jason. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. So what the hell are they, could they possibly be stealing off a military freighter? Photograph the front of the ship. Uh, take a photo of a guard on board the ship. Uh, take a long shot of the back of the ship. Easy. Yeah, I don't foresee the the rate of this going as smooth as our jewelry store robbery. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! We can use the big rig. It's a nice truck right here, too. Uh, 
That is such a nostalgic feeling for me to uh It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding the drive tractor trailers. Products. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead ends? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life. Floyd, it's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spill it shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Yeah, you know, I drove truck for a lot of years, you know, as my real job. I've always wanted to play one of those trucking simulator games. No, they don't probably sound that fun. They're probably not that fun, but I still wanted to try one. Okay, your handle's pretty good. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. No understand you. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Hey, stop. Where the fuck you think you're going? Back up. 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 The manifesto, he said, he said, oh, here, he said, he said, he said, he said, Stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Tell me about the yeah, ship. yeah, yeah. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. Yo, Ron seems like a pretty decent guy, man. Even though, you know, he's overshadowed by Trevor. I feel like Ron could come into his own, though. No runners on. Oh. Am I going to play the online version of the game? I, I depending on how the series does, you, does you know. Um, I did plan on checking out the online. Now I don't. I'm not going to play it like like normal. We're going to just. We're going to probably do like an invite only. I'll allow people from chat to come in. That way we don't have to deal with like the regular online trolls because. For what you guys were saying, there's a lot of content online and a lot of story missions and things like that. So, uh, that's what I plan on checking out if the series you know continues to do well and you guys are enjoying it yeah of course hey, 
But it'll be kind of like our own little thing if, if we do do the online. Uh, but guys, I do appreciate it. We got over 500 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate the support. Check out SnowRunner. I've never, I've never heard it. Remember, if you guys are trying to talk to me in the chat, um, if you're trying to say something to me specifically, make sure you guys are putting the at Brian Menard because there's so many of you guys talking, um, you know, trying to pay attention to the game and pay attention to the chat. I can't tell who's trying to talk to me and who's not. So if you are trying to get my attention and say something, make sure you guys type uh, at Brian Menard because it'll highlight it. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for me to pick out the messages that are directed towards me. Exactly like that, Bad Wolf. Uh, please try it. GTA RP Redline server. Get wrecked. I've never even heard of that. I mean, GTA RP is a very... Uh, I would love to play it. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll have to see. Because like, I know a lot of those servers, you got to, like, apply for them and, like... You got to be whitelisted and shit like that. I don't even know how mods work. A lot of them require you to have mods. Um... So I know a lot of that stuff I've seen for GTA RP. There's no way that stuff's like not modded. You don't want to do invite only service. Most things cost millions of dollars. Locks you out of the highest paying stuff. Oh, so you, invite only servers, you can't get access to everything? This is the test message. <laughs> Sugar Happy, I'm going to have to check that out. Um, yeah, I've never uh, never heard of that game before. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's go read the manifesto. <laughs> In the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's a, there, there, Wade. Look, look, look. It's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. This will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. And. Five M is all you need to access our P service. Really? All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, 
Bring what? it back here and find out what it is. Yeah, I, I don't here? remember this at all. Chicago? That sounds cool as hell. All right, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? I mean, offshore sounds cooler, chat, with the helicopter submarine combo, but this, the freighter sounds cool too, you know, getting the, to blow it up and stuff like that. They both sound awesome, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They both sound awesome. The plans are perfect. All I got to worry about is execution. A lot of A's and B. A lot of A's and B's. I don't know. Well, I, I might do the B just because, like I said, we get access to both vehicles. We get a helicopter and a submarine. A. Franklin gets a st Oh, man. All right, we'll go B. We'll do B. We'll do B. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty damn even split, but I don't know. We'll do B. We'll do B. Offshore, deep sea adventure, gotta be. It just sounds so dope, chat. Deep sea scouting with a freaking submarine, like that sounds cool. All right, screw it. Let's do it. You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved, and he can put us in touch with some local talent. Tell Floyd to find us a submarine, and ask Ron where we can steal a heavy lift chopper. Okay, all right. Is there any way to Is replay these? Smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable, with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! The poop was on the inner part of his lip, chat. We can't, we can't have that. What could we done to the place, guys? Look what we've done. We got some whiskey here we could drink. I was like, no, please, no more. 
Kevin with the gifted membership. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> We're extras. That was a thick ass box fan in there. You see that? Look at how thick that box fan was. What the hell? We gotta get Trevor some new threads. on this earth it's all good no worries i've trodden shits with more brains oh okay whatever no problem. oh you give me hives he didn't want that smoke chat bus stop perfect spot Almost. Woo! Almost. You sure you want to do this? Prep work and research to do, but it's looking exciting. I'll need you to bring along someone you can trust. All right, bro. I know someone. Hey, talk to Lester. He'll have a good angle on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me. You'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. So, prepare for the heist. Visit the flight school as Michael. Gotcha. Alright. What's well, a nice-ass pool? Uh, i seen a sub down by the docks on a ship called Daisy Lee. A nice pool, chat. All right, let's hop over to Michael. We'll try the flight school business. Mm -hmm. 
He, he didn't look very happy there. Let me let me get dressed. So is this? Wait, how how do I know where the flight? Okay, is the flight school not at like an actual mission? Like, do I just got to go there on my own accord? Man, Vito's a savage. <laughs> okay, not a mission. Just gotta go. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll get outside. We'll find out where the damn flight school is. All right, let's see here. Flight school. Flight school. All right, airplane icon. Here we go. Definitely, got, I got the controller plugged in. I'm not worried about it. Definitely controller time. All right, and again, guys, thank you so much. We got almost 600 likes on the stream. Or I'll be angry. <laughs> Don't you think Trevor should be the one doing the fly? Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously. Do you know how bad I wanted that? Famer shame is like... Opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see. I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Let's clean this all. So in the whoa there, what the hell? In the world of GTA RP chat, like what is there to do? Like, is there a whole lot of stuff to do in the GTA RP world, like on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you guys think my 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 playstyle will vibe good with with RP? I thought it was up top. Oh, okay, the school's right over here. I see it. Reserved for me. I should be a cop? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd make a good police officer, chat. Okay, so take off and land. Okay, so we're going to learn how to fly planes. We got this. Take off and landing. Learn how to take off from a runway. How hard could it be? My name is Jackson, with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. I took off with Trevor. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. 
You can retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. Ooh, that turbulence. That was a good start. Well done. I'm an ace pilot, chat. Ace pilot already. Okay, runway. Okay, so this is where it gets a little sus. Now I'm going to have you attempt a safe landing on the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please follow my instructions very closely. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engines. <laughs> it's too easy, Chet. Like, I don't know what to say. I was just, I was born this way, guys. A pro. Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. Where the hell do you think you're going? Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engines. Executed like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. That was an excellent landing. Very well done. There it is, chat. There it is. That the first time was just a warm-up. That's all good. Inverted. Ace pilot, chat. Ace pilot. In this lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down. Well, oh, that made me dizzy. But why do we got to do that? All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude. Get a little crazy. Point marked at the end of the runway. But why is there any like reason to do this? Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay, perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel. <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice. Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Yeah, I'm fucking dizzy, dude. Level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Ace Great pilot, chat. Today. Ace I'll pilot, baby. Next time. Knife flight? This lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. Take off at 
Head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your yeah. rudders to maintain Real altitude. hard. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay. Perform a knife edge on the other side. Level out the plane. Come on, chat. Child's play. <laughs> Child's play. So how do you know? Will it tell me if, if Michael's gaining uh, skills? Fly uh, through a course around the city, keeping a low altitude. This obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over your turn. The course goes around the harbor, and you have to stay low to make the checkpoint. You'll need to use your rudders to help you make some of the sharp turns. Okay. I want you to use everything you've learned so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude, though. This is really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane. Oh man, it get, that turbulence hits you. Get a little wobbly there. At the gold, baby. I have done it much better myself. <laughs> All right, land the plane on a countryside bridge. <laughs> Come on, dude, too easy. I thought flight school was. I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a. Look how rough that landing was. It was not even a good landing. Let's show them how it's really done, chat. Okay, you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're going to practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. 
Maybe you'll get it on the next try. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? We got, we got a chat. Practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Here it is. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Stop, ah, bitch! Uh, look at that. Guy. That was an excellent landing. I know it Very was, well dude. Done. That plane didn't want to stop at all. I got the gold on that shit. I got the gold on everything except that one for whatever reason. That plane bounces like when you land it. It really does bounce. We'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. Come on, dude. Sitting here talking to me like the loop de loop is hard. You do the loop de loop, then pull. And, and your the shoes are the looking the good. Find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. <laughs> a few tries. He must not know who we are, chat. First try. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay. Perform an inside loop. First try, baby. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Come on, bro. What that did you... That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before. Steady the plane first. Wait for my signal. And then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay. Perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Bitch. Is that it? I'm gonna kill this instructor, dude. I, 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 had, I had to show him, chat, you know. I had to cut him a little. I couldn't ace this whole course, you know what I mean? I, I would have felt bad. Particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Always make sure your plane. 
plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again, just like before. Steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking! You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. Good job! There it is! Hard to believe you were only a beginner not that long ago. So it says flying plus, so we're 100 out of 100. Does that mean I maxed out Michael's flying? Okay, helicopter course. Yeah, we passed the whole... So well in the plane, we're going to put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. Come on, dude, this... He, I, he already knows I can do this. Like, why does he... Let's go on a short tour of the city, and we'll see how well you handle the chopper. Follow the marked course, and remember, I'm looking for maneuverability, but also speed. The helicopter's handled pretty nice in this. Very nice! Nicely done! The bridge didn't seem to slow you down at all! This one's a little funky because you got it like compared to the airplane, you actually have to like nice. maintain your altitude. A little differently. That little sway I got going there, Chad, that's how pro. That's how the pros do it. Just so you know. That we call that in the we call that the pro pilot sway. You're heading into the city now. Watch out for street lights and buildings. Keep it up. Those of you guys who are pro helicopter pilots, you understand. Awesome. Nicely done. Very nice. Look at it like it's like dribbling a basketball, chat. You know what I mean? It's the best way I can explain the pro pilot's sway. Come on, come on. There's the landing pad. Go ahead and set her down nice and easy. You've got this. Nice job! 
There it is. There it is. All right, helicopter speed run. Fly a helicopter through this. Man, you know, the helicopter is actually harder to fly than a plane. This is another helicopter lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out. And try not to crash. At the end of the course... Remember, this course is all about speed. To maximize acceleration, keep the nose of the helicopter tipped. Just bear in mind that you're also losing altitude when the nose is pointed down. Good work so far! Keep her at full speed! You've got this! Thanks, Nicely done. You've got this. There it is, chat. Good work so far. Keep her at full speed. Nicely done. Very nice. It wasn't my fault, Chet. The freaking bridge was moving, dude. Like, that bridge literally jumped right in front of our, our helicopter. That's it. You are blazing now. Like, I can't be held accountable for that. Hey, listen, chat. Bridges move. I, I don't want to hear it. I, I I did bridge construction for like two years, and they they move quite a bit actually. Good job. In the needle, baby. Balti with a super jet, brother. Thank you, thank you, and good with a 29 the months, brother. Gently onto the helipad. Bro, what else do you expect? All I can think of is this game needs some zombies. I heard that there was a GTA mod that has zombies in it. There it is, guys. So skydiving. 
drop zone, and then... Okay, so we only got a few more things. Let's just knock them out. I you how to fly a helicopter. Now you're going to learn how to jump out of one. Aim for the landing target and pull your chute when you get close to the ground. The parachute is difficult to control, so slow your approach and give yourself extra time to correct. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Aim for the target and deploy your parachute when you start getting close to the ground. Skydiving feels really good in this one. It was pretty good in GTA 4 too. Guy diving from a hel uh, high altitude and try to land on a moving target? Come on, dude. We did that as Nico. Or no, I, I think it was with Luis. Luis. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully. Was it Luis or Nico? Which one did we... Or I think it might have been Nico, actually. The is on the back of a moving truck. So take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. I'm gonna do a circle around, try to let this thing get in front of me a bit. Circle one more time. That's all that matters, chat. You see that past first try. Right through a course on the city. Your final lesson is going to combine extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying up. I've only been skydiving once in my entire life. Why does it gotta be nighttime though? Out 
one's inverted. This next gate is blue, so you're gonna have to fly through it upside down. Keep it up! Gosh, you completely missed that one. I'll talk about that one. To just skip that one. Checkpoints are there for a reason, you know. As long as I don't die, right? That's all that matters. That's it. I still might get silver. There it is. You've really made a lot of progress. All right, we ace flying school, chat. There it is. Laid back with the one month. Thank you so much. I'd be dead five times over East. <laughs> it felt pretty good. We got it, though. We nailed it. All right, so let's go through these Michael missions really quick. See what the feds want. Ace pilot chat. Only if I could show you guys, you know, the driving school. I'll show you guys what's really up. That shit was very disoriented. There was a couple times I was like, whoa, man, that shit got me dizzy. Was that my problem, lady? I, I stole money too. Uh, what is it, up top or down low? Baby, lock them doors and turn them. It's up top. I think it's up top. That shit had me dizzy, guys. I was like, what the hell?
Rachel, thank you for the five months, so I appreciate it. All right. These new water bottles are so long, chat. It's like, I gotta like drink it to the side or else I'm gonna hit my damn mic. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? Here we go. Tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh. I love it. I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff. Whoa. Pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so. Well done with our, uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your. That guy looks like a knockoff Barack office. Obama. We need to get him out of there before <laughs> he. Blasts. I don't know why that's all I keep I seeing. What agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped-out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this, and that's very important to me. So seen as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. This dude's a dick. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're That's the one a nice car, Dave. Dave's got a nice whip. I wonder if nice this is uh taxpayers treating you right. That's what I'm saying. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Seriously? Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the FIB. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? 
Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, this sounds like some spec ops type shit, chat. Helicopter insertions, rappelling down. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, <laughs> deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go! <laughs> what in the splinter cell shit is- <sighs> Alright, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. <laughs> I got practice, baby. Too easy. I fly helicopters for a living. Gotta get that pro sway on. The one you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. We need to be further out from the center. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the switch. Don't screw with me, T. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You think you're impenetrable? No, 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 no. See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. The world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, chief. I'm not finished with Mr. 36 flow. I got you. What the hell is going on? Help me! Hey, what's going on here? Room's clear, T! Hit the witch! Get us out! Cut him down, people! 
Yo, that was really cool, man. Hey, that mission like definitely showcases the uh, the flip flopping. That doesn't matter. This that was government. I do home theater. I'm not. A I don't care who you are. Then why you That was Nico's ex girlfriend, really? Hey, Mallory? Or well, no, what was her name? Not Mallory. Uh, Michelle. That was Michelle. You saved me. Thank you! Thank you! Don't mention it! <laughs> the Bureau! The FIB! They will make everything okay? I'm sure! Don't worry, they'll look after you! Put her down in the lot, Trevor! Mallory was Roman's girl. Yeah, I think it was Michelle. more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, huh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. wonder if I could take that he heli as Trevor and drive it up to our, our airport, or fly it up to our airport. Drive it, you're an idiot. So it won't let me swamp yet. Maybe we gotta wait for the mission to finish. There we go. Okay, yep, awesome. FIB, Townley. Why does it not surprise me? I'm gonna fly this baby up to our airport. Oh, he automatically keeps it? You are flying in restricted airspace. Turn around immediately.
That saved us a good bit of money, though. We didn't have to go out and, uh, buy a chopper. If you land on the holly pad, we'll be stored here. Okay, awesome. We still gotta get a plane, too, uh, at some point. Okay, let me see. So, Franklin actually has a mission up here. Um... Ice pre oh, there's heist prep up here. Damn, Trevor's got a lot to do. Yeah, Trevor's definitely got a lot to do up here. Quickly, let me swap back to Michael. Um, we'll do Michael's main mission, and then I'll I'll start knocking out some of this stuff with uh with Trevor for that heist. I think I'd have a ton of fun. I just need a couple of veteran players in the party to make it less grindy. Hi. Can I get a cab? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Appreciate it. So we'll go to Michael's house. Where you headed, homie? Rockford Hill. All right, brother, here we are. Need a good stolen or purchased car for Michael. And yeah, we still have it. You know what? I gotta get a garage for Michael. The Vinewood Garage. Let's go purchase that bad boy. Really quick. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, have I heard the good news? And uh, no, I haven't. All right, let's go buy a garage. So, is there? I'll take it. There's a garage for each of the characters to buy. Devin, welcome back. And now, uh, thank you guys. We're over 700 likes on the stream. Oh, yeah, we got to hit ammunition too. They got a combat pistol. I think the combat pistol, at least in GTA 4, it was the uh, Deagle, wasn't it? Crazy. Wait. Oh shit. Forestville. Oh, it's only thirty grand for Michael. That's nothing. Special vehicles can also be collected here. Okay, awesome. Fuck you. Okay, so now let's get that car. Hey, man. Man, I love the internet. 
And just like that, 145,000. Got ourselves a new car. And it should be in the garage, right? Everything I wanted and more, chat. Everything I wanted and more. What? Wait, where the fuck did the guy get a GTR from? Huh? DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Damn it. I don't want to bring my freaking GTR that I randomly... I don't even know where the hell we got this from. Sweet Jesus. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I mean, they even wipe once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. You see his face that last. Time is that I even possible, Ooh, Chat, to take a shit and then just not face. just stand up, not wipe? God, asshole. And just put your clothes you, back on? You back there? I know you, but you, you, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, 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 no. Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Huh? It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, no, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So no. I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. 
This is the most controversial scene in the game. And the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right. I mean, I get demonetized every time I play GTA, anyways. Scope of bureaucratic shit, and that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't <laughs> know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. You are kidding me. Cool game. Chris, I appreciate the super chat. Seriously, thank you so much. house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and Pick go a to weapon work from on the it. cart. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. If he's pushed too far, he may need oh, adrenaline please. shot. Please. Uh, so I get to pick a a torture weapon. Come on, do your patriotic duty. Hmm. Just tell me what to say. Look, we'll look. Start off with the wrench, I guess. It's so heavy. That was a straight. Not the wrench, not the wrench dude. <laughs> I hope you're not a skier. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Uh, well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. I mean, honestly, I don't think we have to. Are they sitting there drinking coffee? Chumash, you're driving. <laughs> While this dude's getting Remember, tortured? Terror does not take coffee breaks. Michael with the membership, brother. Thank you so much, dude. The thing is, is like I feel like they would just he would just answer the questions without a beating. He doesn't seem like the type to really withhold information. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said 
You'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said yeah, that's gorgeous, man. Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters. To Wait, Trevor, is Brad? Huh? Yeah. Not actually. He in thinks they're from Brad. Jailer, he thinks he's locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael. Oh, Brad is actually is dead. Right. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, Yo, Michael's a straight hitman, dude. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. So I ask him the question. How are we going to know if the intel's good if it ain't acquired under duress? Are we going to fingernail him? Let me mine it. Please don't. A tooth? I just have the laser. <laughs> No! Please! Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. Today I got to give him the secret That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was height. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? What? No. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. I had this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Go right here. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Uh, Sorry, too uh, late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's uh, wanting. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. This will put hair on your chest. Not the clip. Not the clip. Don't do it. Or you will kill me. Oh, hold the grip to the left. Please. All right, he's good. All right, he's good. No, no. Whoa. <laughs> don't do it. I'm a, I, all right, it's enough, Chad. We don't got to do him anymore. Me. We don't got to do him anymore. Please. I want to stop, bro. It won't <laughs> let me do it, dude. I'm sorry, dude. No, no. I'm sorry. No. I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, you will kill me. Please. Look at it. He's done. I think 
he's getting a stiffy. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no I need eyes on that party. Pick up so, the scope. There was this guy here that has a beard. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Uh, there's a few beards at this party. Oh, it's this guy. Pinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. Oh man, no more, dude. Lay back with the super chat talking about purple nipple. Thank you so much. I don't want to. Wanna... Long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know, Trev. Maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. What if you get it wrong? Torture it! My mouth! I, I, I would drown! I got blood in my mouth! Ow! So we're gonna waterboard him? Say this! Portfall! The waterboarding's rough, dude. Let's get him upright. Let me up. Let me up. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes. Douglas, holy red. shit, man, with this it huge super chat, brother. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets. Love yourself, keep it up. Hey, brother, I really appreciate that, man. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial Love hair. Love your stuff, brother. Keep it up. Right there. And he's left-handed. That's him right there. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Uh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> this is Trevor showing a little change of heart. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right. Oh, but you again, Douglas, thank you so much. That is so huge. Hey, let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. 
Dang him, Wainwood! I love him very much! No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am Chris with another super well. chat. <laughs> Zero me, Dark me, 30 me, level waterboard. Me with you, Jesus. Me, 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 me. I thought we really bonded, but Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Come on, traffic. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. He doesn't even have a shirt on, Trevor. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. He fell down the stairs, chat. Is he okay? Where'd he go? Doesn't seem like he went home to meet you, or uh, on a plane. Oh yeah, we got okay, so now we gotta go do some work. Uh oh I never did that mission as Michael, right? Yeah yeah yeah. Later, Dave. A whole lot later, I hope. Okay, let's see here. So we got our garage. Let's go uh So we got our like GTR here. It's a nice car. Definitely not the one I wanted though. I want to go see my baby I just bought. Go. So I show you again. We got this baby right here. Nice. Like, we don't even really need to do much work to it, guys. It's already clean. You know what I mean? We can bring it over to the the auto shop. Fuck you, putito. Ooh, okay.
All right, let's see here. So we can do armor, brakes. Uh, all right, let's juice it up a little bit. From Damn, I just actually bought like both of those. That's a beauty right there. Both the engine upgrade. Hopefully, it doesn't get too out of control. Thick. The nice headlights. I'm going to keep this one white. I actually kind of like that GT wing. You got great taste. Try not to take flight. I like the kind of do like the rims that are already on it. Yeah, I like the deep dish. It's got some nice chromed out deep dishes on it. Stock. Um, you should definitely buy the custom shop in the desert. Uh, we'll actually give you money. Really? Yeah, I'm going I'm to have to check that out. That one can't be done. Alright, so it's clean, chat. Oh, look at those headlights, man. The car's straight out of freaking need for speed, man. 100%. 100%. Out of need for speed. The glow is nice. Right, let's take this baby for a spin. Woo. Woo, you son of a bitch. Uh, broadcast, thank you so much for the membership, man. Again, I appreciate you. Hey, thanks, brother. I just got complimented on my cards yet. Yeah, I wanted to park the car. Nothing about that car screams like I mean probably not, but Michael's the only one that could afford it, Caspi. <laughs> he was the only one I could afford it. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, with this with one! anger issues and worse friends! No you, wonder I'm so upset! You too! Please! Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. 
No, please, no. No, no. The yogurt is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. The hell? Oh, fab. If you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin what? to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tadasana. We put the asshole to the earth chat? Or mountain pole. Right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. <laughs> Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, <laughs> Michael. Wait, do people really do that in real life? I don't Wait, what am I supposed to do? Please at least try. Please. Okay, I see it. Um, <laughs> in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Take a breath. Come on. <sighs> out through the mouth. Maybe there's hope for him. A small, Dude. tiny, minuscule, maybe. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? It's like watching one of my kids take wow. their first steps. Only an old version I resent. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Let it out, baby. It moves. Amazing. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes... When I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. <laughs> Breathe, Mikkel. Exhale. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. You can breathe, can't you? Tight. Tighter. The silly man forgets to breathe. Just exhale, Michael. Keep it tight. Now, you breathe. He's actually trying. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. <sighs> Mike. Would you? Your core is very weak, Mikhail. Take in the air and release it. We might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. Your lungs, <laughs> they work, yes? Very good. Now let it go. Good. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Your inner eye. Breathe, please, Michael. 
Move out, please. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Take in the air and release it. The backward eye between your thigh. The backward eye between your thigh? Do they work, yes? <laughs> out through the mouth. Now if you could just get Trevor on a yoga mat. <laughs> Breathing is almost <laughs> the most important thing, no? Oh, the backward uh, eye between uh, your thighs. You have come a long way today, Mikael. Uh, yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. Back, back, yes, there you go. Mm. Oh, oh, nice. oh, 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 what? Hey, enough of that shit. <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good. You are alone, you pathetic psychopath. Uh, fuck you. And that phony French fucking yogi. Jimmy, you still here? He said, picture of <laughs> Jimmy's looking good in that. James, leave me alone. Oh, yeah, fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. I want, I want the other car. I want my other car! <clears throat> so where's your friend? Burger shot? Oh, there it is. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes. Fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. Does it not let me take this car? I just wanted to make sure it didn't get impounded or anything. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was going to slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times? I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You'll know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, you really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. 
Come on, I'm not weird, bro. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, what's up? What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. We're bouncing, chat. We're bouncing. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the Whoa, square fuck. now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. What is this? Oh, Michael, come on, dude. Just chill. I gotta pull over. Oh, who's in that harmless? Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right, you're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Wait, what? This doesn't sound copyright chat. You took a wrong turn a long way back. Wait, how am I supposed to land? Yeah. 
hear me, you little shit. Wait, so he drugged us? How much money did he take? He took like 20 G's? He stole my car? I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Damn. Fuck. Okay, well... Stole my damn car, chat. All right, let's do some heist prep. And guys, thank you. We got over 800 likes on the stream. Let's do... I wish we had more time to delve into the real implications of your bigotry. Ah! Oh, he was a lost... Damn, the Lost actually had a pretty nice van here. Hey, Design with the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great night. Hey, thank you, thank you. Everybody who receives one of those memberships, welcome to the family. Now, let's see here. That's so kind of you. So we're gonna... Yeah, we'll do heist prep before we go doing shit with, like, Franklin and stuff. Um... Uh, We'll do the one right down here. It's close. I'm wondering, is this going to be the submarine? I got to get my eyes checked. Keep the van. I mean, it's pretty dope. Not really my style, but it is pretty cool. Got some tiny ass tires on it, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, Claymore, thank you for the super. I really appreciate it.
Yeah, Michael, I couldn't even imagine that, dude. I would have lost my damn mind. Whoops. I'm playing as Trevor, chat. When you're, when you're making those life decisions, make sure you never ask yourself, what would Trevor do? Like, like... In the game, it's okay, you know? That, like, when I'm playing as Trevor, I'm always like, what would Trevor do? But yeah, when you're, when it's like real life, never, never ask that. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for the super chat, Chris Vincent. I appreciate you, man. Uh, enjoying the stream as always, Mr. B enjoying was wondering. Enjoying the stream as always, Mr. B was there wondering if you were playing Arkham City after Asylum. We will be playing Arkham City. I just don't know when I will be starting it. Um... But yeah, we will definitely be playing uh, City. Okay, so that's what we need to get right there, that, that submarine, right? I if there's any security here. Some security. Say what now? Fine. Of course you were in the right. You told him. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, brother. Nothing personal. Should be alright though. Only security they had? Wow. Trevor, Trevor, so oh, okay. Look, why is he swimming down? Because you got to hold W to swim up. It's inverted. Easy enough to acquire the sub. Okay, well that's more like it. 
Yeah, they actually got a lot of detail underwater, like, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I didn't expect there to be, like, anything, really. You, you see a lot of games, and you go underwater, and it's just barren. Because, realistically, like, who's going to spend time underwater? But I wonder if there's, like, stuff you could, like, go and explore underwater. Or is that not not really a thing? Oh, you know how, how my brain works, chat. I, I always overthink things. I mean, even this stuff is pretty cool. Oh, shit. There's a lot to do in the sub, really? That'd be cool because there's no sharks in the water. And even if there was, I mean, I'm in this tank thing. I don't think they could do anything to me. First person. Oh, wow, that's wild. What the fuck is that? A dolphin? Oh, it's an orca! Tripping, dude. Yeah, how much further do we gotta go? Damn, this is actually a pretty far distance. Oh, it's deep here. Man, there's a lot of killer whales here. If you press or hold but what button? Oh, not that button. That's the get out the fucking tank button. Or get out the sub button. Remember what the button is for the lights. Maybe H? It's just on or off. 
It's under the sea. I want to know how, how the hell we're going to use this for the heist. It's, it's going to be interesting. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. Everything's better down where it's wetter. Oh, what are you doing? It's done. Let's go. Let's Ooh. go. Okay. All right. Hurry up. Oh. Oh. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm here. Oh, it's around the corner. No, the tractor trip. Man, yo. A lot of truck driving in the game. And the cool thing is they got different types of tractors, too. They got the regular, you know, tractors like this. They got cam overs, flatbed It'll trailers, box trailers. Get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. It, I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you got to be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you. No cut for Deborah. We got to give my man Floyd a cut. Watch out for that off track and warehouse here. Uh, you can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there. Um sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. We got some vehicles over here. We got the mini stub. Oh, you give me hives. Fuck you. You fucking oh, please piece of go shit. jump off a cliff. How about I make it so you can't smile with an open mouth? You sure you want this? At least didn't respond to that call very fast. Damn the old cop. Oh, we're going to get hung up in the dock area if I don't press on. Oh, 
Yeah, we're up to two stars? Trevor, why you got us in trouble, bro? Franklin, Mr. You only have yourself to blame. Start making our way over to the uh Yo, watch out. Shit. I don't want to go to the fucking bell again. Cause I don't want to eat meat that's made out of cow asshole. That's why. What? She doesn't want to eat meat made out of cow asshole. We could try this rampage. These the, the, the last one we did was actually pretty fun. And again, guys, I really appreciate the love. We got over 850 likes on the stream. Really, seriously, thank you so much. Yeah. 
Danger! Woo! Mario with the one month. Thank you, thank you. I'm so confused why this gets so much views over Ark. I mean, GTA is alright, but Ark is... I don't know, man. It all just depends on, uh... The vibe, you know what I mean? All right, that was that was a uh, was a good run right there. All right, so let's see here. Where is the other high spot? Oh, the other one was way up here. Yeah, right. So I don't even know what the hell are we stealing from here. I forgot what they said it was. Let's probably grab this cool ass car here, right? Shit is clean. This shit almost wants to get up. Pretty picture. Ooh, that's a train. That's why I wanted to go back up north and get my muscle car chat. I got I got a car that, that's way cooler than this. Mario with the five gifted men. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the fam. This thing's got some get up and go. Miss me. Jesus, you could have killed me. Looks like there's an encounter down there. I'd have saved your damn life, brother. Thank you so much. I thought I was done for there. But what else? Wait, that's it?
Look at this shit. We saved somebody. Yeah, I mean, we don't need anything in return. I know I, when I was saying, is that it? I was saying, like, is that it? Like, I didn't know if the mission broke. Like, if it was like we unlocked another person we could use for a heist. So I was saying, like, is that it? Like, can I leave? Yeah, definitely not a very Trevor thing. I mean, Trevor, I don't know. Trevor doesn't seem like he just would let some innocent person just die. You know, he did save that other guy that he tortured. Maybe Trevor's turning over a new leaf, guys. Reason, brother, with the super chat. Thank you, thank you. That's this is why superheroes get paid in the boys. Ain't nobody working for free. <laughs> this why superheroes get paid in the boys. Ain't nobody working for free out here rolling on the floor laughing. See, when I play Trevor, guys, I get to play Grand Theft Auto. You know what I mean? When I'm playing everybody else, it's... Whatever else. Whatever, you know, it's something, it's something different. Damn it, we're going to get spotted. Jeez, that's like this taking forever to go. Tried to be a savage like me last night. Got everyone I love and kill. I blame you. No, yeah, you gotta be. What we? For fuck's sakes! What about him? What about him? Great police. See, bad wolf. See what happens. See what you did? That's a nice start. Yo, Rockstar is... Like, Ubisoft has some amazing open worlds, but Rockstar's atmosphere, like, with the weather and shit, that, that shit hits different. Come on. 
Okay, they're not dumb. They're not dumb. Definitely not dumb. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez. There we go. Got it. Woo! The rain didn't make that any easier. See what I'm saying, man? Just about the like the atmosphere. Ah, start your piece of shit. Ooh. Car was a little beat up, it didn't want to start there. Yeah, the engine's acting up. Put the top up on this one. What was the button? Was it? I thought you had to hold H. Or does this one not have a top? Aaron, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. That's why I was trying to put the top on, but I don't remember what button it was you had to hold. Yeah, I'm on I'm on I'm on PC so but I don't I just don't think this one has a a top. Alright, we'll grab this bad boy. A nice ass car. Got her to lift up. All right, so let's see. Where the hell? So I don't know how to get to this. Maybe I gotta take this road here. It looks like a tunnel. Is this where we gotta go?
I just gotta go through this gate here. This looks like the fence is really, really tall. Have some fun inside the base. Oh, Balti, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Should have used the damn scope. Oh shit, I'm gonna fucked up chat. Tire. Oh, we're dead. Went into an air base and stole a chopper. Are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. Like, why do I feel like that's not? It's not going to be a good heist working with these guys. Damn, this is actually a nice ass pickup job. Holy shit, it's a lifted. Alright, let's. For those of you guys who didn't see it, it's a big ass pickup. I need you all at La Elboro Heights for face-to-face. -to -face. Oh, man, the government guys want us again. We haven't even pulled off our heist yet, though. Hot. 
I want to hump you right now. Hey, hey you, buddy. Can you do us a massive favor? It's the little lady's birthday and we are really fucked up. Can you drive us back to our motel? Our car's right there. You could be saving some kid's life. Hmm? Think about that. Come on, man, you can use our car. But of course, you two are a hot mess, I love it. You're a legend, bro. We'll get in the back, out of your way. Baby, don't breathe whiskey on the nice man. So where can I take you two blacked out young lovelies? We staying at the Hotel Southwest from here. Thank you so much. You have like the best tits in the whole world. I can take them to where? The A? If I didn't have to work for a living, I would just play with them all day. Oh, you so bad. Oh, that tickles. Poppy. Yeah, you like that? Just wait till we get back to the motel. Mm, I'm gonna get medieval on those puppies. Oh, God, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. You smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making me so horny. Come on, <laughs> give me a slice of that giblet pie. Yeah, let him, let him get it in, chat. What it can. Hey, what are you crazy kids doing back there? I tell you what. While you're sweeping the front porch, why don't I work on her back plumbing? Huh? What did you say? How about I suck those kidney stones right out of your balls, big guy? Get this party really started. Uh, wow, wow, okay, man. It's cool, it's cool. Stop. Well, there's that. Didn't I tell you this would be the best birthday yet? I don't remember it being this far away. I know, I don't recognize anything. We never made it back without this guy. Didn't I tell you this would be the best birthday ever? I'm so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, you save your energy for the motel room. 40 bucks a night, we're gonna get our money's worth. Damn, Chess. Uh, should I just bring him to the motel? No. What would Trevor do? He's got to get in that Trevor mindset. Oh, it's so hard. I can't do it. It's their birthday, chat. Relax, dude. Fucking deer ran into it. Now you're getting to get what's coming to you. Talking all that shit. Damn, this is far as hell, chat. And turn them lights down low. I think you're taking us too far, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our hotel wasn't up a mountain. Ah, don't worry. Just wanted to show you Lovebird's the most romantic little spot in the whole county. <laughs> now you're talking. 
What you say, babe? Mm. Start on a little nature documentary out here? I don't know. I just want to go home now. Oh, you'll love this place. We'll really bring you close together. Uh huh. I've got everything boxed. Hell, fella. What do you got? What do you got? I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body, take the gold. everything. Well, I don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Dear! Oh, dear, dear. What? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Would you call me? Come on, punish me. You're a waste of space on this earth. You want some more? You ain't gonna walk away from that one, bro. It is. Fox oh, I appreciate that, man. Too far. Too far. Too far. Stuck the landing though, chat. That's all that matters. more thank you thank you for the super i appreciate it hi beast with the super thank you so much guys i appreciate the love and uh we got over 900 likes on the stream i need a car Help me, somebody. what's up lady Home, please. Sure thing. You complete weirdo. Oh! 
You only have yourself to blame. Police coming from both angles. I was gonna drive her home, Chess. She called me a fucking weirdo and ran off. Like a weirdo. I was about to give her a ride home. How did you not see me? Sorry, dude. I wanted to do was get back and get my car. And somehow it's turned into all this. A little spot down by the beach. Lucky miss! It's coyote for dinner. No! <laughs> oh. Ah! Shit! Yo, why does the game just not want me to get back, Jet? Come on, guys. You think I purposely could pop, could drift? into and kill two coyotes like i know i'm a, a phenomenal driver but come on guys the game put those coyotes right in the path of my car i was drifting before the coyotes were even a thing A whole ass mountain lion? All right, we're almost back, guys. Almost back. Isn't that where our meth lab is? Home sweet home, Ted. It's been a while. So that's how we get down, Ron. You just see her drinking a big ass bottle of shine. But here's our baby.
party time, ladies! Bullshit, man. Ah! Still better lose the cops here. I had a, well, I did at one point have a nice card chat that I was trying to show you guys this whole time. Uh, Keith with the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Check the impound lot. I don't even know how to do that. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Go away, go away, go away. Come on, come on, come on. Eagle Six. Oh, fucked. Game, the game just had it out for me, guys. I don't know what to say. Faulty, well, thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate the super chat. Five grand. Oof. Well, we had a nice car that I, I, I did want to show you guys. It's gone now. And it was clean. It was the one in the thumbnail. But I parked it in the, scoot, Trevor. in the Yeehaw. garage. So does the impound lot show up on the map somewhere? I don't see an icon for the impound lot chat. This? I'll check the impound. I've I seen a bunch of people saying, check the impound. I've never been to the impound before. Let's get a taxi, though. Would you send out a cab post haste? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. I'll be here. Dash 
Maxi! So where yeah, Mike, yeah, I gotta do Michael's haircut. For sure. Mission row. That's the ride, my man. I don't think either of these vehicles are the one I want, are they? Yeah, tell me about it. Nope. You look ridiculous in that uniform. Waste of space. You weirdo! Respect the badge! Yeah, it's just gone. It's just gone, champ. It is what it is. I'm a little butt hurt. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I am a little of my feelings. Um, so we got the heist here. Obviously, we got this mission with Franklin. So we got a ton of stuff to do with Trevor. Uh, Michael doesn't have not tons of stuff to do with Franklin. And we even we got a lot of uh, strangers and freaks missions to do with uh, or Trevor, and then we got a bunch of. Uh, Stranger and Freaks missions to do with Franklin. We also got the police mission. So yeah, we got we got tons of stuff that we can knock out. Uh, we're going to save that for next episode, though. Thank you guys so much. We got over 900 likes on the stream. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, next episode, we're going to pick up. Uh, you know, you guys are showing mad love with this, so we're, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. Next episode, like I said, we'll, we'll knock out some of the Stranger and Freaks missions, um, the heist, and uh, go from there. And then, you know, start keep doing some missions. Been having a great time with this, though. Definitely having a good time. Okay, so it spawns again. Yeah, we're going to have to get that damn car again. All right, guys. So, again, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. If you haven't on your way out, a smash that like button. Uh, it shows me that you guys, you know, you want to see more. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you consider subscribing. I do want to thank all our brand new subscribers to the channel who joined tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All the Super Chats, new members. Uh, means It means everything to me, guys. So, thank you so much for the love and the support. Uh, is Cryptic on? Yeah, I could raid Cryptic. Raid Cryptic. <clears throat> All right, let me see here, guys. All right, guys, so we're right over to Buddy Mind Cryptic. Uh, if you guys want, hey, make sure you hit that like button. Let them know I sent you guys over there. Bam, that raid in the chat. All right, guys, thank you, thank you. You guys all have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.